<laughs> okay, yeah, that's again, um, that's in Genesis chapter 11, and it's talking about Nimrod. And a lot of people don't even know what the tower was. The tower, the tower was really an antenna or communication medium to, to communicate with the deities that were on Nibiru, right? So what it was is Nimrod, Sargon, which is his, his new, his new, or Nimra, uh, Nimra, um, I can't remember his other name in, in our language, but mm. he's known as Sargon as well. So he was tired of the Anunnaki affecting the people by the frequencies that they were sending down from Nibiru. And so he went about building a tower so he can, he didn't want to speak to Enlil and um, Enki. He wanted to go directly and speak to Anu. So he went to Africa um, and his father's name's Kush, obviously. So he, he learned the language that we're calling Misbatia today, right? So he was taught that language. And when he came back, he was teaching the people that language. And this is how they were able to block the frequencies that were coming from Nibiru. And so they were able to now do magnificent things and build structures and do great works. When Enlil uh, uh, heard this, it was like, how come they're not following our instructions anymore? So he was like, we need to go down there. And that's where the Bible story in Genesis 11 talks about God went down to confound the languages so they, they couldn't recognize or communicate with each other anymore. Because when they were working together and speaking their own tongue and language, they were able to block off the frequencies. It's like today, um, we get a lot of frequencies being sent out, you know, the radio, the TV, the you know, iPads, the, the mobile phones, microwaves. microwaves, and you get distracted a lot. And the tones and vibration are not really conducive or good for us. So if you block that out, um, you won't be controlled because there are some people that are literally programmed by what they see on TV, what is put out there, you know, in the media. So yeah, you can block all that out. But yeah, the story of Babel was really, and the word Babel, ties into Bab El, which is a doorway to Ilion or mm, El. Oh. And it's also the word um, Babylon comes from that. Cause you know, there was old Babylon and there's, there's now new Babylon, which is really America. But um, old Babylon, which was that, that whole area of what you call Iraq or Sumeria today. Um, yeah. I think the story also tells you how we can accomplish something if we put our minds together as well. Yeah. What, we, what we, we could accomplish because it shows you when the minds when they, when when their minds were one they could, could accomplish great things mm. yeah but there's a lot more to that mm. story still yeah